you know, a lot of self-contains, not all, and most of them that do have them are usually disabled, but they do have a factory uh, control valve on the water. Did anybody have any idea what that valve is for? Hmm? Nope. It's head pressure control. Yeah, it's, it's head pressure control. Now, a, a warning I'm going to give you is this kind of small rabbit hole here, but if you're ever working on one of those and you walk up to it, and, and this is the reason why a lot of them are disabled, by the way, the actuators. Circuit one's down, but you have low pressures and, and uh, you, on your circuit two and three, and they're trying to run. The transducer that controls that actuator for head pressure control is on circuit one on the liquid line. Train and McQuay do it this way. So if circuit one is down, that actuator, if, if the circuit doesn't have any pressure on it, uh, that actuator will, uh, psych, will, will, will close down because it doesn't think there's any head pressure, right? If it thinks the circuit is running, okay? If it knows, and this, this happens, if it knows circuit one isn't running and it won't come on, um, and I, uh, it, it will automatically open that valve all the way. And I need to make a correction. I think I said if you see low head pressure, I meant to say if you see high head pressure. That's what I meant to say. So if you walk up and you see a lot of high head pressure and you realize you've got a water flow issue, you need to make sure that the unit knows circuit one is not online and it doesn't have low head pressure.